Dundee, Oregon to look at a 1981 Dodge D150 two-wheel drive, short bed, pickup. A good friend of mine turned me onto the truck and I called the guy that has the truck. His dad bought the truck brand new. He's uh, done some modification to it over the years. The truck's always been stored in doors the whole time. Uh, just sounds like a real nice truck. So we're on our way over there to, to take a look at it right now. All right, guys. Welcome to Rust Duck Garage today. Hey, we've got a 1981 Dodge. D-150 half-done short bed pickup here. The gentleman here has a pickup for sale. What is your name? My name is Rick Sam. My dad uh, bought this truck new. Tell us a little bit about the truck. Did you say your dad bought it new? Yeah, my right? dad bought it in 81, of course, and then uh, when he passed, my brother and I inherited it, and then I gave up my portion to my brother. Uh, my brother, typical hot rider, did a few things to the truck. Um, built the engine and built it up, not just the rebuild, but the uh, chip kit and the transmission, uh, nine and a quarter rear end with the 411 gears. Uh, it's got a gear vendor overdrive in it. Uh, it's roughly four and a quarter horse at the flywheel, so it's not, by today's standards, not huge, but it does pretty well. Yeah, with the 411 gears, yeah. I bet it, it does pretty good. Now, I understand you put a gear vendor overdrive in it? Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that really helps a lot on the highway, especially with the 411 gears. But uh, it probably drops a good 500 RPM at least when you put it in overdrive. So. Nice. Yeah, it nice. does well. Nice. And uh, looks like it's got some pretty big exhaust on it there. Yeah, it, headers uh, and then three inch exhaust back uh, to the rear bumper from there. Traction, traction bars. Oh, Caltrack? Yeah, they're Caltrack, thank you. Nice. <laughs> I should have yeah. remembered that. Caltrack, <laughs> traction bars underneath of it. Oh, wow. It's so clean in here. Yeah, it looks, uh, it's just, uh, you know, other than the blue box is the box, and this is a box where you can put ice and stuff if you want to run it at the drags. My brother ran it once at the drags. Uh, just at a test and tune. Over at Woodburn? Yeah, over at Woodburn. He put some slicks on it. Um, I think he ran through the mufflers. Uh -huh. um, but using the gear vendor, of course, there's a real advantage there too. But he, I think it was like a 13.15. Wow, that, that's really quite good for yeah. these big square heavy trucks there. Absolutely. Uh -huh. I think it's about 3,900 pounds, something like that. It might be a little bit more than that. My little 68 that I got from uh, Doug, I think I ran a... Uh, 15.6 with that over there. Yeah, and it runs pretty strong, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. So. I mean, uh, this is, I think this was, uh, you know, the dual snorkel air cleaner. I don't remember. I, I know Barracuda and some others had those, but uh, I don't know specifically what my brother you know, got this off right. of, but uh, that's what he wanted to do for cold air intake. Sure. Looks good. Looks like a lumen radiator there, Power yep. Master. Uh, alternator there, Demon Carb, yep. fuel pressure, MSD distributor. We've got a couple of cool cans here, or one here? Yeah, one here, and this is a battery box. Oh, here. okay. Yeah, nice. and then remote oil filter. Yeah, hey, that's nice. And that's a Mylodon pan. I mean, my brother, everything that he bought, whether it was cars or guns or whatever, you know, was, he didn't scrimp. He went all out. <laughs> yeah. Nice, very nice. Yeah, so he uh, wanted a floor shifter, so he put in, I can't remember what brand that is. I guess it's probably a hearse uh, in it, but again, this is attached to the 904 uh, automatic with the shift kit. And I think the stall converter is 2,500 to 3,000 RPM, something like that. But, uh, so yeah, I mean, basically it's, it's all original. I mean, the, the little split right there, but that's pretty typical stuff on these, of course. And, Sure. Rocker switches down there are, uh, it's kind of hard with the shadows here, yeah. but uh, uh, basically he's a, kind of a typical drag racer thing. So there's there's a switch for the electric fuel pump, one for the ignition, and then the, this is a, just a remote accessory fan over here. But um, oh, yeah. 
So uh, just to just to kind of split things up, it's MSD ignition. Uh -huh. Got the tack up there. Yep. Yep. And you know this truck here, you know here in Northwest, uh, our trucks are fairly rust free, uh, but not totally rust free. But look at this truck. I mean, you look at the rockers in here. I mean, there's just absolutely no rust in there. Uh, yeah, when my dad owned it. it he lived down in Salem, and really, I just got miles back and forth between Salem and Newburgh, and, and uh, he had a carport, so it's under a carport, and so most of his life, it's been covered. Dundee Hills uh, area, which is famous for its wines. Yeah. 